Hello everyone, welcome back to PSAT 109. We're continuing with our descriptive statistics lessons. In today's example, we're gonna go through calculating the mean and standard deviation, specifically sample mean, sample standard deviation from a data set. And as we explored in example 1.1, the summary of your data can come in a lot of different formats. Previously, we saw the stem and leaf display. And today we're going to see a frequency table where you have intervals. So if I read this frequency table on the left here, the first interval goes from 0 to 10. Again, the bracket means the 0 is included. The parentheses means the 10 is not included. And you'll see below the 10 is in included in the next block. And the number next to that is the frequency. So I've got 17 numbers between 0 and 10. I don't really know what they are, but the point is this summarizes all the values. So the sample mean, sample standard deviation calculations are straightforward, but I want to explore how do we do this with frequency tables. So if you recall the formula for sample mean, again, we have a little bit of sophisticated notation here. It's an X bar. Um, and it's simply just the sum of all of your X's divided by the number that you have. So real quickly here, let's just sum up all of these values so we can find out, well, how many total data points that we have. So if I add all of these together, it looks like 31. So again, I've got 31. They are summarized into four categories. 17 of them are between 0 and 10, 7 of them are between 10 and 20, and so on. Okay. Now, in the front in green that you see here, well, if I had the individual data values, I could just add them all up and divide by 31 and have the mean. In this particular example, I don't know what the values are, right? There's 17 of them that are anywhere between zero and 10. So how do we work with this? What we do is we basically take the midpoint of your range. So I've chosen here a pretty easy example. Um, the length of each of these intervals is 10. So the midpoint is going to be, you know, halfway through or five. So in this case, from zero to 10, the point right in the middle is going to be five. So you can think of this 17 here as like having 17 fives, right? So five, 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 et cetera. And basically I have 17 of these. So if I were to use the formula above, I would add 17 fives together. Um, for us, it's much simpler. We can just take this and be like, okay, well, I've got five. I'm going to add 17 of them. So that's, I'm just going to multiply. And then now I will add to that. I've got seven numbers in the range 10 to 20, and I'm going to use the midpoint here. So seven, and the midpoint is going to be 15. And then so on, right? I've got five numbers in this range. I'm going to use the midpoint again. And then finally, I've got two numbers that are somewhere here. I'm going to use the midpoint. And then all together, I'm going to divide by n, which is 31. And so this you see in your lecture notes in 109 is called the weighted mean. And what it means, what it represents, is that I've got a five, right, that I'm using to summarize my first cell. And I've got 17 of them. So I'm going to give the five a weight of 17, and then so on, right? Our regular sample mean is also a weighted mean. It's just every value is weighted the same. So in this case, we work through this calculation here, and this looks to be around 12.42. All right, so if I were to average all those, that's what I end up getting. So again, a sample mean is just an average, which represents what I would expect if I were to see a number arbitrarily from the data set. All right, sample standard deviation, what is that? That is gonna capture how spread out your data lies away from where your sample mean is. So I've got a sample mean of 12.42, and I want to see, well, how spread out is this data? So similarly, we can start with our equation for sample variance. Now, there are a lot of different algebraic representations of the sample variance, and I'll show you two of them here. So the definition is the difference between your value and its mean squared, and then this divided by n minus 1. 
And then if I simplify the algebra, another representation I can come up with would look like this. So just the sum of my value squared minus n times x bar squared. Now, depending on your class, I'm not sure if you're allowed a graphing calculator or not. Most 109 courses do. So you wouldn't have to play too much with this, but you might want to be able to work through it, especially if the data is in um, a tabulated format like we have here. All right, so for calculating this by hand, for me, it's way simpler to do this second form here. So then I'll go through and do that. Okay, recall here that I wanna add up all of my X's now, but squared. And I have to remember these are weighted because I have a bunch of numbers that are in this window. So I'm not just gonna square the five in this first cell here, but I'm gonna give it a weight of the 17. Right, and then similarly, I've got seven of these guys. And then I've got five of these guys here. And then finally, I've got two of these numbers. Now again, the sum of x squared, I'm just gonna add x squared over and over again. So for that first cell, I'm adding five squared. But remember the frequency means I've got 17 of them. So this will save me from writing out five squared plus five squared plus five squared 17 times, okay? And this will take care of that first parenthetical that you see above. Now I'm gonna subtract n times x bar squared, and n is our size of the data set, 31. And then x bar is what we calculated above, 12.42. And I remember to square that. Okay, so that takes care of my entire numerator. And then this entirety, is divided by n minus one. So s squared represents sample variance. So the sample variance here, if I run this through my calculator, which I've already done, looks to be like 93.12. Again, variance and standard deviation, we'll get more into it as the quarter progresses, but there are ways for us to summarize and learn about our data set. And that's the goal of statistics, is what is our data actually telling us? How do we read it? How do we make inferences from it? So these are just the kind of the basics, the starting calculations we would want. Now the question asks for standard deviation. And so standard deviation is just the square root of your variance. So in this case, the square root of 93.12, and that leads me to 9.65. All right, so at the end of the day here, I've got my mean is 12.42 and my standard deviation as 9.65. And as you've seen in lecture notes, um, using these two values, we can make conservative estimates about the distribution of the data that we have. And that's the whole objective here is how do we summarize it. So hopefully you've gotten a picture of how to work with tabulated data, how to still calculate your summary statistics, and we'll leave it at this.